Baba Siddiqui, a very noted politician who had great links and association with uh, several Bollywood stars. In fact, known to be a man who kind of ended the long-time feud between Salman Khan and Shah Rukh Khan. A very popular man in that sense. And uh, for the Muslim community, he seemed like uh, a leader and a face who represented those people in Maharashtra. So this killing here has sent shockwaves, considering it comes right ahead of Maharashtra Assembly elections. I'm going to take you through some of the theories. They're yet to establish what was the reason to why Baba Siddiqui was assassinated. So to break that down for you here, various theories that are currently doing the rounds as to why Lawrence Bishnoi gang may have targeted Baba Siddiqui. First of all, the cops have confirmed that the murder has been pulled off by Lawrence Bishnoi and gang. So one of the theories here is that Lawrence gang is upset and they wanted to take revenge over the black buck killing that involved Salman Khan. Now, the other theory, this, was, this happened in 1998, but since then, the Lawrence Bishnoi gang has been threatening Salman Khan, claiming that they would finish him, him off as well. He's received multiple threats over the 1998 Black Buck killing, to which he faced legal case as well. But here is another theory that Salman Khan and any, one of his associ any association that he has with people, they are targeted. In fact, we hear that... Baba Siddiqui allegedly received threat from the Lawrence Bishnoi gang about 15 days ago as well, claiming that, uh, that because he has close association with Salman Khan, he could be under target. Now, this is speculation. We're yet waiting for the police to confirm on that matter. Here's another theory here of the man who shot at, who fired at Salman Khan's residence. This happened roughly around April, uh, where uh, two men shot at Salman Khan's residence from the outside uh, in a bit to threaten him. They who were arrested, one of them, Anuj, we hear, died in prison. He committed suicide even before he was rushed to the hospital there. We believe he had succumbed. So this could be one of the reasons to why they ha this aggravated the Lawrence Bishnoi gang. Another theory that is touted here is that there has been speculation, even in the past, that Baba Siddiqui could have underworld links, that he could have been associated with the Daoud gang, and that could have been a reason for this assassination. And lastly, of course, Lawrence Vishnoi gang suspected Baba Siddiqui's role in the slum redevelopment scam. Now, there has been already a case that was on Baba Siddiqui, where nearly 462 crores of his assets were attached by the Enforcement Directorate with regards to this slum redevelopment project that was carried out by the pyramid builders. And we hear that Baba Siddiqui was fully backing it. And all the way from 2000 to 2004, this project that was to be initiated, there had been several controversies that surrounded it. Uh, and this could have been one of the reasons that has irked uh, someone or the Lawrence Bishnoi gang to carry out this killing. Now, these theories are, of course, doing the rounds. It's for the police now to come to a conclusion on this case. But after Baba Siddiqui's death, security has been beefed up outside Salman Khan's residence. Clearly, he's the man who's been receiving threats from Lawrence Bishnoi gang repeatedly. Following a directive from Salman Khan's family not to meet anyone, Salman Khan, we believe, has uh, last night... Uh, was seen attending the funeral of his friend, Baba Siddiqui, but also has decided not to meet anyone else, has cancelled all his meetings. Security continues to be heightened outside his residence. The bad blood between gangster Lawrence Bishnoi and Salman Khan originates from the 1998 Black Buck poaching case. Salman Khan was convicted in 2018, but later was granted bail. Bishnoi community holds the Black Buck in high reverence, as they believe it's the reincarnation of their spiritual leader. Lawrence Bishnoi has also stated, if Salman Khan apologizes, the threats would cease. Meanwhile, a former BJP MP has now stated that Salman Khan must apologize as he has hurt the sentiments of the Bishnoi community and possibly end this ongoing feud. Well, right now, we know... There's been immense uh, pressure on the Maharashtra police now to crack this case. Uh, at this point, we hear that Salman Khan also has been uh, quite upset over what has happened. He uh, has cancelled all his meetings, not wanting to meet anyone else. And uh, it could be, at this point, they're exploring Lawrence Vishnoi's threat to Salman Khan 
uh, very intently. The cops are exploring it. They've beefed up security for Salman Khan right now. Now, uh, reasons being asked as to why Lawrence Vishnoi gang has been issuing multiple threats to Salman Khan. So breaking it down for you on the Black Buck case that seems to have aggravated and uh, led to these constant threats coming in from Lawrence Vishnoi gang. Here's the 1998 Black Buck case that Salman Khan was involved in. Salman Khan and his co-stars at that point, Saif Ali Khan, Sonali Vendre, Tabu and Neelam, uh, where in fact at that point uh, in a forest area while uh, they were uh, they were on their shoot they were on the hunt we hear uh, for a black buck they while, while on that adventure salman khan we hear managed to shoot that black buck killing it Bishnoi community then quickly filed a complaint against Salman Khan because they believe that black buck is a, a revered bird it's a reincarnation of uh, of their, their, in fact, their spiritual leader. That's what they believe. So Salman Khan eventually was arrested for poaching and then also got bail for it. Now, he was sent to five years in jail by the Rajasthan High Court. This, Salman Khan faced this verdict in 2018. Now, uh, 2018, April, Salman Khan was also granted bail in that case and he was let out. So ever since we know that there's been threats now trickling in Salman Khan and his family members time and again are receiving threats through letters, uh, through people shooting at uh, right outside his residence. And now in the latest with Baba Siddiqui's murder, it's really sent the family in complete shock. Now, Lawrence Vishnoi, a notorious gangster criminal figure, has been linked to several high-profile attacks in India including those targeting Bollywood actor Salman Khan and singer Sidhu Musewala. Bishnoi is now believed to be the leader of this gang that operates primarily in northern India. Remember, Lawrence Bishnoi picked up beef with Salman Khan, uh, the superstar, after this black buck case. But this man really manages to uh, carry out these threats right from within prison. Shocking that no authority has been able to clamp down on him so far. Despite being in prison... He seems to have enough connection and a network all across the country hiring people to pull off the crimes that he wants to. <laughs> A chilling pledge to eliminate Bollywood superstar Salman Khan. A hail of bullet at Punjabi singer A.P. Dillo's Canada House soon after Dillo's music video featured Salman Khan. Daring murder of Punjabi singer Siddhu Musewala. Lawrence Vishnu, the dreaded underworld dawn, stalking Bollywood and Punjabi music world. Lawrence Vishnu, who is in Ahmedabad's Sabarmati Jail, was said to be on a moan rut during the Navratra festival. A period used by his henchmen and sharpshooters to assert control in underworld. Often by daring attacks, shootouts, and gang murders. Like the attack on Maharashtra politician Baba Siddiqui. Lawrence has started as a student leader in Punjab. A meeting with gangster Goldie Brar pushed Lawrence into the path of crime. Lawrence Bishnoi picked up beef with Salman after the superstar allegedly killed black bucks revered by the Vishnoi community in 1998. Bishnoi is accused of running his fee from jail. His purported video call to Pakistani gangster Shehzad Bhatt from jail had gone viral. Sabarmati jail officials called it an earlier video and not from the prison. The Lawrence Bishnoi gang has nearly 700 sharpshooters, controlled by his Canada-based brother Anmol and trusted henchman Goldie Brar. An NIHR sheet compared rise of Lawrence Bishnoi gang as similar to that of Daud Ibrahim's D Company. With Arvind Oja, Bureau Report, India Today.